With the foot in a fixed pronated position, an abductory force is placed along the medial aspect of the medial malleolus, creating either a transverse medial malleolar fracture and or deltoid ligament failure. This is described as a stage 1 injury. As the abductory force continues to push the talus laterally, the talus is driven into the tibiofibular syndesmotic joint, creating injury to both the anterior and posterior inferior tibiofibular ligaments, creating a stage 2 injury. Note, with the interosseous ligament still intact, one cannot call this a true diastasis. In stage 3, the abductory force has continued into the fibula, creating a fracture at or above the ankle joint that is short and oblique on the AP view but appears transverse on a lateral x-ray. Since the talus is driven into an inferior medial to superior lateral direction, a lateral spike of cortex from the fibula may be visualized on an AP x-ray. Lateral comminution is quite common. One must remember to take a lateral x-ray of the ankle joint to adequately differentiate this fracture from the posterior spike of the fibula seen with supination external rotation injuries. This is important for fixation purposes. In summary, the hallmark signs of this injury include the short oblique fracture of the lateral malleolus seen in stage 3, which will appear oblique on an AP x-ray but transverse on a lateral x-ray. This is unique to pronation abduction injuries.